Bournemouth to, to learn about the, the magic that's in the area in Bournemouth, not just the great weather, but um, not just the great football, but all the, um, the wonderful things the university does. Because, you know, we're like Bournemouth, we're a, you know, we're a learning organisation, the BBC, we're a creative organisation, and uh, you've got this fantastic track record, you know, and doing great things in the movies, wonderful animation and VFX and music and all of that stuff. And um, I thought I'd better come down and find out how you do it, what's so special about Bournemouth University, but also, you know, share some thoughts about what the BBC is doing, who we're working with, uh, what we see the challenges are, what we see the issues are, uh, and just meet lots of new and fresh talent, which is always great. I think it feels like it's a, a buzzy, thriving, you know, kind of youthful area. And it's backed up by the stats, isn't it? You look at all that stuff about around new digital clusters, about where the startups are coming through, and uh, it's obviously a kind of sense that it's possible to do those things here and possible to, to get things started uh, and to get some momentum uh, and to, to re recruit great people to come and work for you, all the rest of it, because I think the skills base here must be crucial in feeding that growth. You know when you work in this sector, it's nearly always about, it's all about networks and uh, who you know, you know, what your, what your kind of, you know, the, the, your intelligence about how the, how the world is changing, about what industry needs, that you can supply to that. Uh, so being in the know, uh, being in the thick of these new creative networks is it's absolutely everything. It's you know less to do with bricks and mortar and how swanky your buildings are and more to do with this kind of, you know, this other slightly kind of invisible, intangible thing, which is um, these kind of intelligence and skills networks. So I think sharing information, sharing knowledge, sharing stories, hearing from other people who either recently or um, in my case going back a bit who've uh, who made it or know a thing or two and then fairly candidly sharing their challenges. I think these, these forum are pretty crucial and um, you know all the, the contacts uh, and the ideas and the networks that you build at this stage in your life they're things you'll develop and grow and if you're going to be successful they're things that you'll kind of exploit a bit further down the line so yeah it's wonderful to take part in this today. I think I do one thing in my CV or for my CV that makes you stand out above anybody else. You know, you know, it's just that thing at the top of the story about your life and what you believe in and what you're passionate about. Which, you know, when I click on the application or other people interview you or meet you and talk about the job, you've got something really fascinating, lateral, unique, different. It's about you. So it's got to be genuine and authentic. You can say about yourself, which makes you stand out 